Hi Ocean Leaders, welcome back to another episode of Speak Up for Blue TV. I'm Andrew Lewin and today we're going to talk about colors in the ocean on today's first episode of Ocean Facts. Welcome to the first episode of Ocean Facts. These are This is an episode where I decided to throw some facts at you that I don't think you know about and I think you should know about. So let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about colors in the ocean. In particular we're going to talk about colors of animals in the ocean and whether it's an advantage or disadvantage to be a different color. So here's the first ocean fact. Lobsters found in the northwestern Atlantic, Canada and the US, known as American lobsters, are sometimes blue in color instead of the brown, reddish, orange that we normally see. Scientists say the blue color is a genetic defect and it occurs in only one in every two million individuals. Blue lobsters are said not to survive well in the wild because they can't camouflage themselves as well as their darker counterparts and it can be picked off easily by predators. Now I bet you, you didn't know about that ocean fact. Now our second ocean fact deals with crabs. Four new species of crabs were discovered in the Philippines recently. One of the crabs discovered was purple. Now not your dull kind of dark purple that you normally think about, but a nice bright purple with claws with orange tips. Did you know that crabs can actually discriminate between different colors? Yep, scientists hypothesize that the brilliant purple colors are for social behaviors like mating, where males and females will actually be attracted to the best colored individuals. Now, I bet you you didn't know about that, about crabs. Now here's your third ocean fact of the day. An orca whale was recently found off the Russian waters of Commander Islands in the Bering Sea, but it was not your typical black and white orca. It was actually all white. Now researchers are fascinated by this white whale who they have recently dubbed Iceberg because of its six foot tall white dorsal fin, when it sticks out of the water, it actually looks like an iceberg. Now Eric Hoyt, a marine mammal expert and co-director of the Orca Project, was quoted in saying, in many ways, iceberg is a symbol of all that is pure, wild, and extraordinarily exciting about what is out there in the ocean waiting to be discovered. Now not much is known about the Orca, but researchers are looking forward to finding the Orca again to find out if the mammal is a true albino, which means white body, red eyes. Now other, mammal, other Orcas have been found to be white before, but they've always been young. This is the first time that researchers have found a 16-year-old, at least 16-year-old, sexually mature male orca, which poses the question of the day. Do you think that the white of the orca, or a white orca, is actually an advantage or disadvantage in the wild? That's our show for today. If you want to answer the question, answer in the comments below. And if you want to see any future ocean fact video that I'll be creating or any other kind of videos of, the, of ocean awareness, just click on the annotation above to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see anything we've done in the past, click on the annotation below to see our channel, anything we've ever done on YouTube. And of course, if you want to see more, speakupforblue.com. You can build your ocean leader skills, build your ocean knowledge, and build your ocean awareness, and also help other people build their ocean knowledge and build their ocean awareness to help save the ocean. And until next time, my name is Andrew Lewin, founder of speakupforblue.com. Happy conservation.